When I first heard about the use of the golden ratio in art, I felt really excited. I'd heard it was used in the construction of the pyramids, the Pantheon, and in artwork by great artists, and that list included artwork by Da Vinci and Dura. I was filled with enthusiasm, until I did some further research and discovered that there is little evidence to support those claims. Leonardo da Vinci and Albrecht Dura were interested in the golden ratio and it has been suggested they used it in their, their paintings. Their appreciation of the golden ratio doesn't seem to extend to it being a part of their artistic process. These men weren't just artists. Like all of us, they had many interests and their scientific minds would have been fascinated with the golden ratio. This is my version of Melancholia by Jorah. The original is an engraving and in my version I've added colour and made a few changes, but still you get the sense of a very gifted artist. Albrecht Dürer is always mentioned when people talk about the Golden Ratio. They suggest his work as a practical example of the Golden Ratio in operation. Dürer was a mathematician who wrote a book titled A Treatise on Measurements with Compass and Ruler. He believed that geometry was an important part of the artist's toolbox. This image includes numbers and mathematical shapes, but the image isn't on a golden ratio canvas. In this image, mathematics is used as a subject matter, but there is little evidence to suggest the golden ratio is used as a composition tool. Jura is a clever man, and as an artist, your artwork will always be influenced by all the ideas that you're exposed to. But we do make choices about how we want to incorporate different ideas. For some reason, Jura doesn't use the golden ratio canvas. When people talk about the golden ratio, they also mention Da Vinci. It was da Vinci who illustrated a book on the golden ratio. Now, if your mind is anything like mine, you're imagining this amazing art book filled with drawings that are all constructed using the golden ratio. You're imagining portraits and biblical scenes. It's so easy to get carried away when faced with the idea that da Vinci illustrated a book. Pacioli's book titled The Divine Proportion contains illustrations by da Vinci, but they, they are drawings of mathematical shapes such as the dodecahedron. In both these examples, mathematics has been subject matter. The golden ratio hasn't been used as a tool for composition. The golden ratio has a giant reputation. Many people believe that it has been used by many artists in the creation of their work, but the foundations of these claims are weak. Mario Livio wrote a great book where he discusses the golden ratio and dispels a lot of myths associated with how it's been used in art. He even goes so far as to say, In spite of the golden ratio's importance, for many areas of mathematics, the sciences, and natural phenomena, we should, in my humble opinion, give up its application as a fixed standard for aesthetics, either in the human form or as a touchstone for the fine arts. This seems quite damning. However, it seems as though it's too late to ignore the golden ratio. The myth has become too large. 
To be taken seriously as an artist, you are expected to have an understanding of the golden ratio. It's believed that it has been used by some of the best artists of all time. It's created the idea that if you want to belong to that elite group of artists, then you should also have knowledge of the golden ratio and you should be capable of incorporating the golden ratio into your artwork.